Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about the XG firewall on MSP Flex, specifically onboarding the XG firewall via central management. To start, we need to be logged in to the Sophos Central Partner Dashboard. From here, we're going to go into our managed customer usage. We're going to go ahead and select our customer that we're wanting to add the firewall to and launch into that customer's Sophos Central admin dashboard. Once in the customer's Sophos Central admin dashboard, on the left hand side, select firewall management. If this is the first firewall going into here, this page will actually have an option to add the firewall directly from the dashboard. If not, select firewalls on the left hand side and select add firewall. From here, we are going to add a new firewall. At this point, we're going to go ahead and enter in the serial number for the device that we are going to want to add to the firewall management. Once you have the serial number added, click Next. And this is going to ask you to register the XG firewall. At this point, you will have the option to register it to one of the admin accounts inside of that Sophos Central admin account, or select Change and hit the drop down to pick any other admin account inside of that dashboard or to use your currently logged in Sophos Central Partner Dashboard account to register the XG Firewall. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select my Partner Dashboard account, and I'm gonna click on Register and Proceed. At this point, the XG Firewall has been successfully registered into that account. As we can see, I have my SG330 uh, that is now running our XG software on there, and we're gonna hit Next. This is gonna bring you into the pre-configuration for your XG firewall. Your first thing you need to do is agree to the license agreement, and click Continue. Next will be to select your time zone, and you'll also be able to rename the firewall itself if you don't want the serial number to show up in there and you'd rather have it as a fully qualified domain name. Now we're gonna hit next. At this point, the basic setup is complete. You will see the licensed features here at the bottom. You'll have your appliance license, which should stay active, and the expiration date for that appliance license. Now click continue. From here, we'll start the network configuration portion. At the very top option, you're gonna have your port, the option for what the firewall is going to be in. In this case, it's gonna be in firewall mode. You can select to put that in bridge mode as well. Enter the IP address for what you want that firewall to have as a LAN IP. On the option here, you can select what subnet mask that is going to have. I'm going to use the slash 24. You can also have it enable DHCP on that particular port and modify that DHCP range if needed. Now, if you need to change the WAN configuration, you can come in and hit Edit Internet Connection. From here, you can modify port 1, which is going to be your WAN, and you can set this from dynamic to static. For this, we're going to go ahead and leave this as a dynamic IP address. Now, select Continue. From here, you will get your basic network protections. You can go through the list and decide what you want to turn on now, or you can come in later and turn that on manually. For now, we are going to leave these blank and hit continue. Next, we have our configuration summary. This is gonna show you what options you selected during the configuration. Lastly, we're gonna hit finish. This is now gonna take us into the download the light touch configuration file. What you're going to do is select download and we're gonna download that configuration file and then place it onto a FAT32 formatted USB key. That USB key will then be plugged into the back of the XG firewall. As it boots up, it'll grab that configuration file. It's gonna configure the initial setup for the XG firewall. It is also going to register that XG firewall into the Sophos Central admin dashboard. 
So we're going to go ahead and select download. And we're going to save that file to my desktop. And now that we have that file saved, we're going to go ahead and select next. What this is going to do is bring up your deploy firewall and it's going to sit here and wait for that firewall to actually connect and get powered on into this particular dashboard. You can select the option to continue without waiting here. If you do that, you will see in your firewall management dashboard that that firewall is now listed as waiting. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in that device to the XG firewall, let it boot up and go through its configuration process. Okay, so I've booted up my XG firewall with the USB key connected. As you can see, my firewall has changed from waiting to connected. I have two alerts on that firewall, letting me know that it has successfully enabled for central management and is awaiting approval. The next step you'll have to do on here is you will need to approve that firewall management services. And to do that, you simply click on the accept services. This firewall is now set up and ready for management on Sofo Central Admin. The firewall has been registered and it will now appear inside of your Sofo Central Partner Dashboard. From here, you can actually click directly on the serial number itself and launch directly into that firewall. Now, obviously on here, I'm not going to probably leave the serial number in there. I want to go in and change that name. Click on the three little dots and you can hit rename firewall. You can move this to a name that actually makes sense. In this case, we're just going to call this one demo. Now that I have that renamed, I can go ahead and click into demo and it'll bring me into that firewall with a single sign on. This will take a few moments to get connected to the device. This does not require any external access opened to the firewall on the WAN. This uses a support tunnel that is built from the firewall itself directly into CM. Now, the first thing it's going to ask us to do is set the admin password. You are going to want to go ahead and do this in case you need to access that firewall locally. So we're going to click set password. This will bring us into the device access page. And from here, we can go ahead and apply our password. Click apply. And it's going to ask us if we're sure we want to change that password and hit OK. If we come into the central synchronization, you'll see that your synchronized security has already been set up and that the device is being managed by Sophos Central Management. You can also come in under configure and enable any of the additional components on there. The central backup management should be enabled by default. You can now go into your Sofa Central Partner Dashboard and request a subscription for your MSP firewall. If you have any questions, please reach out to your MSP team. They'll be glad to help you along with that process. Thanks.